Welcome back to Coin Sense and Nonsense. Today, it's Toner Tuesday again, and we love that. So today, I've got a little Canadian entry. Hello! There she is. So this is a RCMP, or Royal Canadian Mounted Police, commemorative dollar. And there was a set issued to commemorate the 100th anniversary of the RCMP. I always think of Dudley Do-Right. As a kid growing up, there was a cartoon. But anyway. All right, as an example of one of those sets, uh, here's a, I think this is a 1987. You can see the packaging. And oh, look at our COA. So this one is obviously a different issue, but you can see the how the packaging imparts the toning around the around the rim here on this one. So nothing too crazy, but pick this one up cheap. Hello. So the regular silver dollar is no longer silver. Ooh, that's got some color to it, or is it the reflection of the the pack? No, actually, that's not too bad. Obviously, there's some mottled toning here, a kind of broken luster, and somewhat unattractive toning. But as you might imagine, this isn't the whole story. So we have the other side coming up. But to demystify something, if anyone was like me, the DG Regina, I always thought I was... It's like a Canadian coin. I know there's like a city in Canada called Regina. I think Saskatchewan. I don't know. Anyway, um, no disrespect, but um, I always thought as a kid I never understood it. And actually up until recently I didn't understand it. So it's Latin actually, De Gratia Regina. And it's, um, I don't know if my pronunciation is okay, but... Uh, uh, by the grace of God, Queen is what it translates to. So, anyway. Okay, here we go. RCMP. So, there we go. With the, the horse, he's got some color going. Um, we also have the broken luster thing going on this side. So, the kind of the uh, field isn't so, so nice. But the horse I thought was pretty cool and I like the grass. Um, it has like kind of rainbow, a lot of red and green, a little bit of purple going. So I thought this was a cool coin, cool enough. It wasn't like super expensive or anything. Um, you, can, you can see the kind of the shininess there in the background. It's, um, it's an SP coin. It, it could have been a proof um, oh, I guess I kind of fogged it up there. Um, it could be, um, uh, they do have cameo versions of this coin, uh, but obviously this isn't it. And so, uh, in this, uh, grade, I think the population is 74 and there's 508 graded higher, but the main attraction is the, the color on this. Um, as usual, as a lot of you know, the true view image of this coin looks a lot nicer than anything you can approximate in real life or on video, especially. So, so it is definitely hard to translate the colors that we see in hand on camera, but I'm trying to get a different lighting set up here. I know it's blinding with the light coming across, but to be able to um, see the color and whatnot. So anyway, don't want to spend too much time on this one. There's a million uh, 31,271 of these minted. Um, this is like a less than $50 coin. And you know, with the color or with the toning, it might be a little more, but um, so, wanted to say Happy Toner Tuesday, West Coast Edition. It's getting late again, but not as late as uh, some others. So, anyway, I thank you so much for... Oh, actually, I've got something else, too. I, I don't think this warrants its own Toner Tuesday uh, presentation, but I got a cool uh, one-ounce bar, 
and you can kind of see the toning and this is one of those for sure that looks nicer in in hand than we can see on camera but couldn't pass up a, a one ounce Lake Tahoe bar with some color. So a lot of people don't want uh, their silver to be so-called tarnished, but there are certain of us that do enjoy the, the toning. So anyway, thank you so much for watching Coin Sense and Nonsense. And until next time, oh, bye, bye.